Carl and Dan here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, gbhmod.com for sure, and it's reaction time as we are checking out the song, May the Beauty Burn, by a band called Angel Number. Who? Please I, I don't know. I don't know. They, uh, ah, they popped up on like my social feed when they were releasing this track. Yeah. Um, it's their first track. They came out of absolutely nowhere. Um, I think it's members of Loathe produced it right yeah or oh, they've just worked they've been working with a couple people that are quite popular in, uh, in uh, like uh, they're close to me i guess in the art that i do okay right okay so I, this is how you I know they're from, i know they're from this country mm. um but they just came out of nowhere they've released this and but enough for you to pick up a t-shirt yeah, I liked it. I like the, I like the song a lot. <laughs> you like the song a lot. Okay. Um, and what category, what genre would you put them in? Honestly, I can't, I can't tell you. We're not, we, we can't this break is, it down is, to metalcore. This, this isn't metalcore. Okay, no. is it? All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm intrigued. I know absolutely nothing. Uh, so let's do this in three, two, one, go.
Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not metalcore. No, it's it's not. Um, if you would have asked me to sort of point out and go, well, by the end of it, Carl, what would, where would you start placing this? I'd say it's like a combination. It, to me, it was melding. Um, shoegaze, the short shoegaze sound, the other all kind of guitars and effects and stuff like that with emo, mm. with emo style music, you know, that was like a combination between the two. It's a lot more leaning towards a pop orientated sound than it is a rock sound than anything else. But it, it is a lot, go there's a lot going on in it. To be honest, I, 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 I'm a little bit frustrated that, that like, I feel like I've missed m too much. And like, I guess it's gonna, it's one of those tracks again that you need multiple listens to, to really pick it apart. Because I think, I think it was a good, so do I think it was a good song? I found it to be repetitive. And there's an element I really didn't like, and it's quite a, an important element, but I really like shoegazy guitars. I do like the Edward feel. I like the feeling of being disconnected from reality. It's a big part of my, listening in the heavier side of music than anything else, whether it be black gaze or shoe gaze in general, the likes of Death Heaven and stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, and I'm also a fan of a lot of music that is classed as emo and stuff like that. So the combination of the two, I wouldn't say should be a winner because it's a meshing of styles that is going to be difficult to, to, to work, make work. I think they make it work quite nicely. Mm. Um, I definitely feel, feel like it's uh, designed to be an emotive feeling song and that uh, I don't think it came across forced you know what I didn't like I do not like the vocals Ooh. see what I mean by saying it's quite a big element Yeah, it's quite a big element uh, of the track to not like and um, by the end particularly when we were going through the same sort of kind of build and chorus and stuff like that. I was desperately in my head trying to push them out of the way so I could pick up a lot of the other elements. And it's not like I hated them. It wasn't that I hated them or anything like that. But truth be told, you know what I thought they were, particularly? I thought they were quite whiny. And it's not sort of, that's... Yeah, that doesn't, sound, that doesn't come across the way you want it to, I don't think. No, I, I know it doesn't. It, I know it doesn't. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm trying to appease... A potential fan base and say I'm putting it simply as it is I find them to be quite whiny in my ears um I think I think it's not, I don't necessarily think it's bad the bad vocals because I think they fit the song really perfectly that they mm. fit it because of the kind of um it's weird considering the video video was so lacking in color the song itself came has a vibrancy to it that I thought was quite colorful mm. Um, but not necessarily from the vocals, but then they fit nicely and fine alongside the kind of ethereal style of music. And just, that was kind of, it's really difficult for me. They're a difficult band to talk about. They are. <laughs> and I definitely feel like we need to see a lot more from them to see a range. Like, mm. let's be honest, if we didn't got another track or two that was very similar to this, I would be out already. I would like, uh, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you like to see a second track then showcase a bit more range. And what else have you got in the pot, you know? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I really like this. What so do you like I, about it? The ethereal. I, I really like the guy's voice. I love how high you can go. Because mm. that, that's got my kind of jam. Like, I love bands like Holding Absence and Sleep Folk. And so it's right in my wheelhouse, wheelhouse really. But it's not the highs that I particularly disliked in the sense that it was high... I it was high all the way through, but that that's fine. I mean, do you, I've been metal bands back in the freaking eighties and seventies were screeching at the top of their lungs. Mm. Height is never really an issue. I don't know what it was, but it just wasn't resonating with me. It's just, and it, uh, you know, what I'd really like to do Go on. hear the vocals in isolation. Mm -hmm. Let like, let's remove and strip back all the music and let me hear the vocals on their own. Do you see what I mean? And then they hear yeah. the music on their own and see if it is if they if it's because they're not working together or if one you know is a particular issue. I'd be I'd be very interested to hear that. Mm. You know? Hmm. Yeah. I get what you mean. Fawnhill something... did a, they released the entirety of their last album with isolated vocals. It's really weird. 
It would be it would be very weird. It would be very, <laughs> very weird. Um, but I'd certainly be more interested. I won't I won't say I'm particularly sold on this this band. Um I think the combination of what I'm hearing is different, and that might cr- immediately create some momentum because it is different and it's something you've not heard before. Uh that's that well, that's an that's attention grabbing. Mm. But I definitely want to hear more before I would be able to really sort of fall on a fence, whether I think they're good or bad. Do you see what I mean? Like right now, I'm very much squarely sitting on a fence here, which is saying, listen, uh, I like a lot of what's going on there. I like a lot of the elements. I'm not sold on the vocals at all, but I want to hear more before I decide which which side I fall on, really. Yeah. You know? Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, just have, we'll have to come back to this band in the future. We'll have to come back when they've released something more, I think. Definitely. Well, you let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?